Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are diving into Book Bolt only because you guys demanded it and somebody from Book Bolt reached out to me and asked me if I would share Book Bolt with you guys. And I was like, yes, I've been wanting to try that. So I just logged into my account and this is the first thing that I see. And I have not played around in Book Bolt without you guys. I didn't want to do it before you. I wanted to do it together, okay? So I'm not sure. I kind of feel like maybe this should have been a live video um, because number five, I, you know, which one would you guys pick? I'd ask you, which one would you pick? But I want to know how this entire process works. Okay, so there's actually, looks like a webinar, okay? So I'm not sure that we're gonna watch that on this video. I do wanna check out how long it is. Okay, yeah, this is two hours. So we're not, we're not gonna dive into that quite yet. But it's good to know that there is ins and outs of this, right? So let's go back and let's go into research or creation. I don't know, what do you guys think? Research, I want to see the top selling KDP books. Let's go into the book bolt cloud. Okay, so keywords, let's stick with something we've been doing since we've been doing tutorials, children's nature. So it is loading up for results. Let's look at, we put our price range. Okay, so I'm actually very impressed that this is a self-publish. You guys recognize this book from Beetlejuice, the handbook for the recently diseased, the this deceased. I think that's so funny. Um, makes me wonder if they have the copyright and license or if that even, or probably maybe nothing was even licensed, which is funny. I follow this person. I think this is a really awesome KDP -er, uh, Mad Hatter Stationaries. So that's obviously children's nature that comes up, right? So we're getting some different categor categories, uh, different types of book. Okay. And it's the nice thing is this is showing us what's at the top. So we're not even looking at the things that are important. That one's cute. My son loves a nightmare before Christmas. And look how cute that pen name is. Take note here, the pen name, Andrew Nightmare. So stinking good. Um, yeah, so these, I mean, they're kind of hitting, right? So I think that's a good, a good mix. So without watching tutorials, let's go to products and see what we can learn from this tab. Okay, so categories. Oh, cool. So this gives us a lot of different things. I've never done music sheets. Um, I haven't done a calendar. I've wanted to. I've done all these other ones before. I haven't done a sketchbook. But let's let's do, what do you guys think? You have to put in the comments what you want me to look at. Um, let's do guest book. I haven't done that one before. Okay, so let's do, I know a little bit about um, categories for guest book, short-term rentals. You can't use the word Airbnb on Amazon because it is trademarked, right? It is taken. Okay, total results. For short-term rentals, 100. Average BSR is 1 million. Lowest price, not interest in that. Highest price, yes, interest in that. So this is interesting to me, guys, ladies and gentlemen, because like if you can sell a higher price book, you have more ad spend and you get more profit. So that's interesting, okay? So let's see, loading more, please wait. Okay, let's see, is there a way to see the most expensive? Let's see, is there, okay, there's no way to filter. So let's look, $6.99, $7.99, this one's pretty. But I'm interested, like, let's see the ones that are selling for more monies. And it looks like on the side here, there's other keywords. These don't necessarily match short-term rental. This is short-term memory, so they're just taking that and running with it. Uh, the keyword count, this one does fit a little bit more like vacation, home, welcome, visitor. So that's interesting. This could be good for like keyword research. 
Okay, so I'm looking, I wish that I could filter it to the most expensive because I'm wondering, is it a self-publisher? So this one is a little bit higher up there, right? And it's, uh, you know, 300,000, it's three years old. Yeah, I would love for this to be, oh, here we go. Okay, so guest book an oceanfront visitor sign in logbook. So this is like someone that's going to have a house that they're renting out. And uh, the BSR isn't, isn't amazing. So I'm, am wondering, like, it's still good, right? Cause it's under a million, but I want to get, I want to sell a lot all the time. So 48 estimated sales. I am wondering where this estimation comes from. If it's a duration of lifetime or monthly, Cause that would change a lot if I was going to, well, and look, it was just published in June. So I really don't know what to speculate in terms of the date or in terms of how many cells came in on a monthly basis. But I do think that one is interesting because of the price and because it is newer. So I did open that in a separate window and we will go look at that. The next one that I am searching for, I'd really like to find another one over $10. Some of these are recently published. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. You can always pause. Okay, here's another one. Here we go. So this is probably the most expensive one that it was mentioning. Okay. Lake House Guest Book. I'm not super impressed with that title. Any of you that do design are probably thinking you could one-up that. And I think that's completely realistic. Um, we could even work on one together in a, in a future video, if you guys would like the it's priced high, but there's not a lot selling. So what's missing? Is it the title? No, sorry. Is it the cover, right? Like it's kind of looks like a rainy day for a lake house. So that might not be something that a short term rental person would want to put in there. And I'm actually very surprised that they slipped this in here, that they slipped in a subtitle with Airbnb. Same with this one. I'm very surprised by that. I probably would not do that. I would not be comfortable doing that without permission. I like to steer really clear from any type of termination, like questionable things in my KDP account. I don't want to go down that route. In fact, I even try to be really nice to KDP employees. Like I have never had the same one twice but I email them all the time for questions. Okay. So this one was out in April and it's priced at 15, but it doesn't look like it has any cells. Okay. So I feel like we've gone through this enough to pop over here and check out what's going on. So I do have my Bookbeam app plugged in so you can see, let's go to six month. Okay. Okay. So this is letting me know the blue is the best, the, um, selling, right. The best selling rank and the yellow is the price. So they kept it this price the whole time. So they launched the book in July and they got, let's see, these peaks are when it sold. Okay. So it sold a couple, sold a couple, sold a couple, mm, you know, sells. And then the sales dropped, 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 dropped. Maybe it sold one or two in September. Boom. Okay. Let's see for a year. I don't think it has a year, right? Cause it was just published six months ago. Okay. So this one, right. I would look at the description. It's got a good hook. It's got all the details. Honestly, I would say like the cover, the cover is not like something that I would sign in or anyways, I think that could be, I think that could be enhanced. Okay. And you guys know how much I love pen names. Let's just check out the shop. Okay. So this is like just a bookshop, right? They say that it's just a bookshop. Um, There's not, and you guys have heard me talk about this before. Like I wouldn't, um, I like to be very niched about my shops. So I would certainly 
keep them separate, I would do like a short-term rental shop with different books. So that way, if someone came to my name and they didn't like this book, they're like, well, let's see what else they make. And then be like, oh yeah, I love this one. Okay. I get organic sales from that a lot. So just keep that in mind. Like these space ones, they could all be in their own little like Gallica shop. Like it would be so cute, right? Or like underwater, like, or like even having this guest book in notebook form. So maybe the customer would be like, oh, I want to get a notebook too. And maybe it's like, maybe it's like short-term rental inventory logbook. Like what do I need to stock in my Airbnb or cleaning logbook? Cause people hire out people for that. So anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at this one real quick. Let's check out just the past six months. See what's on here for the best selling rank. Okay. So this may be sold one, you know, one or two in 10 months. Okay. That's fine if you're into that, but like, I want to really, I want a a lot of momentum on my book. Okay. So that was products. That was the product tab. And, um, this gives us an idea of what book bolt does. I'm going to drop a link if you want to try it out, but I think I'm going to do another video to go through some of these other things and I will make sure that I do it with you guys. And so thank you for watching me experiment with this for the first time too. I think that gives us an idea of the power of it and what it can do. And maybe we should try and create something next. We'll, I'll, I'll check you out. You'll, we'll see each other in the next video. Love you guys. Peace out.